so why exactly are there a bunch of mics here all of a sudden? Well, you see, Mr. Thomas, the manager always said that Rex and Bert weren't as efficient as Mike, especially because Mike is a newer engine. So he had Rex and Bert disposed, and he got more mics because Mike is very, very efficient. It just works that way, you know. Just don't listen to him, Thomas. He's talking out of his funnel. His non-existent funnel. Well, if that's the case, then what's Frank doing here? Well, you see, we need a diesel around here, else the Arsdale Railway is going to get accused of discrimination. I see. Thomas, you must get out of here now! What, what, what are you talking about? What's going on? I've been imprisoned in this box, Thomas. Do you see that engine over there? That's not Mike, Thomas. That's... That's Ferdinand! They turned him into a bike! But isn't that a good thing? I mean, everybody hates Ferdinand. Thomas, do you fail to see the situation here? They've already turned Bash Dash and Ferdinand. Who knows who's next? I still don't see why turning the logging logos into mics is a bad thing. In fact, I think that's an improvement considering how bad they are. You really are hopeless, you know that. <laughs> Whatever. At least I'm not stuck in a box all day. See ya. You know what, Toad? You could just go to your manager and oh 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 a, a little help, please. Uh, I've fallen and I can't get up. There's a reason you were replaced, Mr. Bert. Hello, everybody. It is here with the Japanese Train here with another installment of Wooden Road and Rail Reviews. I know that was a very strange uh, intro there. And it seems that Bert is still locked in captivity in his box. How dare you, Toad? Am I right? So, Bert is a very interesting release in the Thomas Wooden Railway, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the things and the bits and bobs and what's different between him and the new Mike model and why there is no Rex model yet. Oh well, let's go ahead and take a look at Bert. Without further ado, let's get to the review. So, unlike Mike, Bert was introduced a little bit later this year. I know that Mike was around... People knew that he existed at around March, April time, I believe. But Bert, we really only found out about this summer, like somewhere in late June, I believe it was. And like Mike, he's the 040 sort of small railway engine. And I was actually really, really impressed by the prototype picture because of the face. And, you know, even though he does have some of the same detail as Mike, you know, I, honestly, I was pretty excited for it. I mean, given that we've never had Bert in the Wooden Railway before, I think everybody was excited to see this model. And I just can't wait for Rex to come out, if and when he does. One thing that I felt was worth mentioning with these two items is how you'll notice here on the mic box I do have here, it just says mic, whereas Bert, it says Bert the miniature engine, which is kind of strange seeing as they're both miniature engines, and it doesn't make much of a difference, I just thought it cool to mention. So seeing as I have both the Wooden Railway Mike from 2015 and Bert, I thought it proper if we do a few comparisons between the models. For example, when you look at the tenders and stuff and the lining on the boiler, um, Bert's is of course red and Mike's is blue because it would be weird if it was any other way. You know, Mike is red and Bert's blue and stuff like that. And um, not 
too many differences between these engines in terms of shape. The faces, the faces are spot on, I'm just going to say that. Like, I, I give props to Mattel, they really, really got Burt and, like, CGI faces well represented on those models. And, um, for Burt, I really love the color. Just the blue of the model, in my opinion, really pops out, even more so than Mike's red, I would say. And for some reason, I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm a softy for that color. I really, really like the certain blue that Burt's got, because I don't even think that Thomas or Gordon or Edward has a blue that's kind of like that. It's kind of like some sort of voltage blue, and I don't know what to say other than the fact that I really like it. It's really good on Burt, and I like the model. With regards to Burt, you know, I did a review on the 2015 mic, and I stated all of the the controversy surrounding the whole, why is Mike so small thing and all that. So really, if you want to see, uh, you know, at risk of repeating myself, if you wanted to see that, my opinions on those sort of stuff, I would go ahead and check out my mic review, because that... The, that whole issue really doesn't give me a whole lot to say in terms of Burt, because, you know, I'd be repeating myself. But what I can say about Burt is that I do love the fact that it's the first time we've had Burt in the wooden railway, and I, I, I know as for a fact that as a boy, I really wanted Burt and Rex with a passion. Because I had Mike, right? And I had read the books, but I really, really wanted a Burt and Rex just so I could complete it. And I had Frank, and, but that was good and all, but I really wanted Burt and Rex, and here's Burt, and hopefully we'll have Rex soon. Speaking of Wooden Railway Rex, people have actually come to me and asked me about why uh, is it that Rex hasn't been released yet, well, you know, what are my thoughts on it. And I'm going to say this, don't go ahead and buy a Burt or a Mike just to go ahead and customize it in a Rex, because I think that Rex will be released sometime later this year, if not next year. I believe that this is because Mattel wants to time the releases right. Well guys, I think that's going to wrap up my review here of the Thomas Wooden Railway 2015 BERT. And you know, if you would ask me, I think I would give this model a 9 out of 10. Honestly, I love the model a whole lot, and uh, you can't really go wrong here with the detail. And it's a lot like Mike, and you know, if all the small railway engines are the same and all that, so well done there. But um... This is probably going to be my last outdoor review because it is getting to be the heat of August and, ah, oh man, it's really humid out. And so the next one might be inside, That not counting the ones that I've already filmed, of course. But, of course, you can see more things from me in the future. I've got a Q&A coming up, contest, Friedrich, everything. And so with that, thanks for watching, guys. This is Hero the Japanese Train, signing off.